Hi, I'm Streaky. Today I'm answering a question from the comments, which is what would be my best advice to a young engineer or old engineer who's um, in the early stages of their mixing or mastering career? So my best advice for someone starting out is very similar for someone who's going to be a producer, a remixer, a DJ, uh, anything to do with music, mastering, whatever. It's a numbers game. You need to do as much work as you can. So you do it cheaply. No one's going to pay you big money when you're starting out. So do it cheaply just so you're getting something. So they get, they feel they're getting, you know, they're paying for something. That's important. But just do whatever you can. You need to do as much work as you can so that after five years or, you know, as soon as you, as soon as you get to a point of saturation, you can start charging a little bit more money. Uh, your worth will be more. You'll have more experience. You don't have to then take on as much work because your price is higher so you can afford the luxury of doing less work but uh, take more time on that work. So I would say as well with that in mind is when you're starting out just start with the basics, the very basic things you need to get the job done and learn those really well. So um, really kind of work on the... Um, the the sort of macro of the whole thing so just a comp for me mastering a compressor and eq a limiter that's it for the first five years learn them like the back of my hand do loads and loads of work with them so i can get loads of experience because it's not just about that it's about you know experience with clients with networking with building your profile with all of those things it's not just down to the engineering and that's the same with songwriting the same with anything you've got to learn your craft and by focusing on the on the macro you're not getting into all the little details of the micro which you can do when you've got the luxury and the time and you've learnt that one great skill that you're going to do so if you you might go through a load of things in the first five years where you, you just don't want to get go off on tangents just finding little tweaks for, for example with mastering for me how this would work was I'm not getting into leads, I'm not getting into word clocks, how all these things sound, all the different plugins, all the, all the intricate details of how, what gets a good sound. In the first five years, there's no point in me having any of that because I can't hear it. My ears aren't tuned up enough. So I've got to just think about what does an EQ do? How does that sound? How am I going to get that to sound better? What does a compressor do? How does that work for mastering? How do I speak to clients? How do I deal with their complaints? How do I deal with them as people? How do I get more clients? How, how can I build myself? So it's not dealing with all the little little tweaks that you do down the line it's just dealing with the bigger picture to start with and then after five years because you've got the experience because you've built the clients you can then start focusing on right okay now how what leads sound better now what uh, word clock works better what a to d sounds better just get something that works to start with and then get into the micro details later so that's kind of my best advice first five years macro second five years micro and then from there on in you're just tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and getting better and better and better hence why most mastering engineers are old men um, i hope that helps uh, please if you've got any questions put them in the comments and i'll answer them thanks for watching if you'd like me to master your music there is a discount code for watching this far in the video thanks for watching until next time bye